Gary with Cubase Academy with another Halion 5 video. This will be a fairly short one, I think. We're just going to make a sound using the synth zone, using a synthesizer inside of Halion 5. One of the other videos showed a sample and how samples work. This one's going to focus on the synth. Well, you notice I have a blank Halion 5 uh, running in standalone mode. Nothing in the slot rack yet, no programs, and just a blank one up here. So let's give it a name to start with. We're going to make a killer B sound. Okay, something like that anyway. We'll start by adding a layer. Layers are very important and they're a fundamental concept in Halion 5. This is going to be B layer 1. And then inside the layer, I can add a synth zone or a zone. Excuse me. So this is the actual icon for synth zone, so I already know it's set the way I want it. So I'm going to call this B zone 1, just to keep things nice and tidy. Now let's go over to the edit window and look at our zone. <clears throat> a lot of windows here, a lot of um, options in this. But the very top is important. B zone 1, which is over here, remember? B zone 1 is um, a synth. It could be a synth, a sample, a grain, an organ, but it is a synth, and we're going to leave it a synth. There are many windows or many different options that we can change. We're just going to look at a couple. So let's turn off the ones we don't need. <clears throat> and this little button beside each of these, um, this quick shortcut to scroll us around here, it will turn them on and off. So I don't, I don't want, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want the voice control. I'm not interested in the uh, pitch. I am interested in oscillator. Actually, it was a faster way to do this. I could turn them all off and then just activate the ones I want. I want oscillator. I want uh, filter. I want envelope. That's good enough for now. Let's make a sound with these. <clears throat> the synths have three oscillators, one, two, and three. I'm only going to focus on oscillator one. And also they have a sub oscillator, which is fantastic, uh, a ring modulator, and a noise generator. We're just going to focus on oscillator one and make a saw sound, which is very buzzy. Now, why don't I hear anything when I play a note down here? Well, it's because there's nothing in the slot rack. <clears throat> if we want to hear it, we have to drag it into the slot rack, and now we'll hear it. Buzzy. Lovely. Let's make it a little, uh, let's add a filter to it, make it a little harder. We'll add a tube drive, add some distortion, and now we've got it just a little fuzzy. I'll show you what it was before here. Very nice. And we can play with the cutoff and the resonance, or we can use this little, this little controller there, this little pad to control them both at once. But that's where we're going to leave it, a little distortion. And we'll leave the the filter, the ADSR, the way it is. It's immediate on and a very slight amount of decay. And as long as I hold the note, it will play. There's plenty of ADSR tutorials, attack, decay, sustain, release tutorials out there. Uh, maybe I'll cover it in another video. So here's our sound. Very nice. Let's add a little bit of color to it. Let's turn on the step modulator. Go down to the step modulator and let's increase the steps to 32. And then uh, also turn off our sync mode. We're in standalone here. And then we'll just draw some uh, slight variances. Now that's not going to have any effect whatsoever. Why not? Well, because we haven't gone and we haven't actually applied it to anything. So now finally, let's turn on the matrix modulation section. And I could do a whole video on matrix modulation. But instead, I'll just give you a high level explanation. There's a source and a destination, and the source, in this case, is going to be step modulator, and the destination, in this case, is going to be pitch. So the step modulator is going to modulate the pitch, and by how much? That's what this little slider is for. So I'll play a note. So. If I don't want uh, them to be quite as sharp, you notice, I'll notice the step modulator, these have very sharp edges. They're very discreet. We can change the slope to all edges and then increase the slope amount to make them more smooth. And now we have a... <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. Now let's do one more thing. Let's take that step modulator and also affect the volume uh, so that uh, we can make it, say, louder when it's higher. And... There 
we go. <laughs> That's more like it. If you go high enough, it's kind of mosquito-like, right? So that's, uh, we've created this interesting uh, sound here. Now what I'm going to do is come back to the program window and I'm going to copy this layer, right? And I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to paste the layer in. And there it says B layer one copy. Let's do our housekeeping. Let's call it B layer two, okay? And inside B layer two, we should have B zone two. So we've just copied that. And let's do the same thing again. Let's go up to the top and paste it again and housekeeping right we'll make this three and we'll make this three also there and now they're all exactly the same they're identical so if you see it it's not very interesting just louder let's go to B zone 2 and let's go to the step modulator window and let's change the modulation. Let's just randomize it more. Okay. And now we should have two different modulations. And let's change the tempo. Let's change the frequency. Excuse me. Let's go to B zone one and let's slow it down a little bit. And let's go to B zone two and maybe we'll leave it where it is. Okay. Let's go to B zone three. Let's do something really different with the uh, step modulator. Let's just do a sweep like this and let's really slow it down. I've got three of them now. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, great, so we've got this uh, killer bees. We've got three zones with three synths uh, and they're all, uh, they all look a little different, right? So if I select the top, and we've talked about this before, if I select the top level, we can see the wind red where the differences are. So the differences are in the frequency of the step modulator and pretty much everything else is the same. So that's the only difference between the sounds. If I want to go to say B zone 1 and possibly maybe change the coarse tuning, uh, then of course we'll see that that goes red. If I select the entire patch it goes red because it's different from the other two. There are differences. And again remember we can be in absolute mode and we can also be in selected mode, which means edit only the selected zone or everything. So when I make a change here, it makes changes on every single layer. Okay, <clears throat> now, uh, let's see, uh, we've got this great. Now, why put every one of these on a different layer? Because we could actually make a bus for each individual layer. So there's B layer 1 bus, right? And there's going to be B layer 2 bus and B layer 3 bus. Now what that allows us to do is it allows us to pan each one of those B's to left and right or however we want. Okay, uh, And I can do that now by going to the mixer and uh, what I really want to do is, is choose this uh, depending bus channels and expand it out all the way. So B layer 1 here it is, B layer 1, okay, uh, feeds into the program bus, which is part of Killer Bees, which is part of the master output. And we'll get into, we'll do another video on the mixer, because it's actually fairly complex with all the aux buses and everything. But all I'm going to do is take B layer 1, and I'm going to pan it to the left, not all the way, some, 57. Then I'm going to take B layer 3, you see B layer 3, and pan it to the right. And we'll leave B layer 2 right in the middle. So now you should hear. <laughs> and them spaced out a little more. We could come to the program bus and add, um, this is the master bus, right? We're, and we're going to add an effect. Let's just put a delay on the end. Let's keep it out of sync. Let's keep the feedback low. And let's keep this pretty tight. So it definitely helps give us a little more... Uh, uh, bees. And of course we could do the same thing here. We could add uh, uh, an effect to every single one of these buses and it could be different. It could be a different setting. It could be a different uh, tempo, different decay, um, all kinds of things. We could add reverb to them. So you, you, having a separate bus allows you to add effects to those individual synths. So we're using three different synths with a single oscillator, sawtooth wave, to make those sounds with a little bit of delay on the end. And I could, I could really um, add one more uh, layer. 
Um, and I added it inside. I was already selected a layer. Now, if you accidentally put a layer inside a layer, all you have to do is drag it up to the top, and now it'll make its own layer. So let's just call this noise. Okay, and let's see if we can add one more synth in here, and we'll call it noise. <clears throat> Great. We'll come back to our edit zone, and we'll turn off the oscillators, and we'll just give it some noise. Let's just see what... There. So, there's a quick example of how to make uh, synth sounds. Just very simple. This is really more about how to layer synths together. You can imagine that you, can, you could layer some very complex synth sounds together. And you can layer sounds that already exist uh, together. So you could take three or four synth sounds you like and layer them together and make one patch. Uh, insanely powerful. And don't forget that we just use the synth zone. You could layer together a sound that had a sample zone, multiple sample zones, that layered synths in, that layered organ in, and layered granular synthesizers in. We'll get into some of those other types in other videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something from this today. Halion 5 is just fantastic. And the more I play with it, the more I like it. And the more I'm able to uh, quickly do the sound design that I need to do uh, when I'm working on a project. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give me a like, leave comments if you want to see anything in particular or anything specific you've uh, struggled with in Halion 5 or any part of Cubase for that matter. Thanks for watching and I will t talk to you again in another video soon.